If you're like most people, you probably assume your kitchen is one of the safest places in your home. After all, this is where we prepare our meals, where we gather for coffee, and where cherished family recipes are passed down. But what if I told you that your kitchen might be hiding something sinister, something so small that it's invisible to the naked eye, yet potentially harmful to your health? I'm talking about microplastics. These tiny plastic particles, often smaller than a grain of sand, are sneaky. They don't just come from the ocean or industrial pollution. They are right there in your home, shedding into your food, your drinks, and even the very air you breathe. And for seniors who have spent decades unknowingly using products that break down into microplastics, the exposure is often even greater. Let's talk about 10 of the most surprising sources that might be lurking in your kitchen right now. 1. Plastic tea bags. For many seniors, there's nothing more comforting than a hot cup of tea, especially in the morning or before bed. Maybe you've been drinking tea for decades, passing down the tradition from your parents or grandparents. But here's something shocking. Many modern tea bags are made of plastic. Unlike the traditional paper tea bags of the past, many brands now use nylon or polypropylene to seal the edges. When exposed to boiling water, these tea bags can release billions of microplastic particles into your drink. Yes, billions. Take Margaret, a 72-year-old retiree who spent years drinking chamomile tea before bed. She had no idea that her favorite brand of tea bags contained plastic, until her grandson, a college environmental science student, told her. She switched to loose leaf tea with a stainless steel infuser and noticed not only a cleaner taste, but also peace of mind knowing she wasn't sipping on plastic particles. But here is what you can do. Look for brands that explicitly state their tea bags are plastic free. Switch to loose leaf tea with a stainless steel or glass infuser. And if you must use tea bags, go for unbleached paper bags that are compostable. Two, non-stick cookware. Now let's talk about those beloved non-stick frying pans. If you're like most people, you've had the same set for years, maybe even decades. They make cooking easier, especially for seniors who don't want to deal with food sticking or heavy cast iron pans. But here's the dirty little secret. When non-stick cookware gets scratched, chipped, or overheated, it releases microplastics into your food. Meet Robert, a 78-year-old widower who loves cooking eggs every morning. His frying pan was a wedding gift from the 1980s, and though it had a few scratches, he figured it still worked fine. One day, his daughter noticed tiny black flecks in his scrambled eggs. That's when she realized the pan's coating was breaking down into his food. Most non-stick coatings contain PTFE, commonly known as Teflon, which breaks down over time, especially under high heat. The older the pan, the more likely it is to be shedding microplastics with every meal. If your non-stick pan is scratched or peeling, it's time to replace it. Consider switching to stainless steel, cast iron, or ceramic cookware. If you must use a non-stick, keep the heat below 450 degrees Fahrenheit to minimize breakdown. 3. Plastic cutting boards. Cutting boards, every kitchen has them. But did you know that every time you slice, dice, or chop on a plastic cutting board, you're scraping off tiny plastic particles into your food? Plastic cutting boards wear down over time, forming small grooves where food and bacteria can get trapped. But what you don't see are the microscopic plastic fragments mixing into your chopped vegetables, fruits, and meats. Take Elaine and George, an elderly couple who have been married for 55 years. They've had the same plastic cutting board since the 1990s. After decades of use, it was covered in knife marks, but they never thought much of it. That was until their granddaughter, a chef, pointed out that the board was literally shedding plastic into their food. Even more shocking, a recent study found that chopping on a plastic cutting board can release thousands of microplastic particles per meal. And unlike wood or glass, plastic boards can't be easily sanitized once they start breaking down. You can instead replace old, worn-out plastic cutting boards with safer alternatives. Switch to wooden bamboo or glass boards. They're more durable and better for your health. And if you must use plastic, choose BPA-free options and replace them often. Bottled water. For years we've been told that bottled water is cleaner and healthier than tap water. But here's the shocking truth. Bottled water contains more microplastics than tap water. 
A study found that a single liter of bottled water can contain up to 100,000 microplastic particles. How does this happen? The plastic bottles themselves break down over time, especially when exposed to heat, like sitting in a car or stored for months. Every time you take a sip, you might be drinking tiny plastic particles along with your water. John, a 75-year-old man who prides himself on staying hydrated, drank bottled water every day for decades. It wasn't until his doctor mentioned the risks of microplastics that he switched to a water filter in a stainless steel bottle. Not only did he save money, but he also reduced his plastic intake significantly. Instead of buying bottled water, consider using a water filter for your tap water. But if you must buy bottled water, never store it in a hot place like a car where plastic can break down. And for daily use, switch to a glass or stainless steel reusable bottle to reduce plastic exposure. Plastic cooking utensils. Think about your favorite cooking spoon. Maybe you have a go-to plastic spatula that's been with you for years, perfect for flipping pancakes or stirring a pot of soup. But here's the problem. Plastic utensils break down over time, especially when exposed to heat. Every time you stir something hot with a plastic spoon, tiny microplastic particles shed off into your food. And if you've ever noticed that your once smooth spatula now has rough or melted edges, that means bits of it have already made their way into your meals. Take Linda, a 68-year-old grandmother who loves making homemade pasta sauce for her grandkids. She had a set of plastic spoons and ladles that had been in her kitchen for over 20 years. It wasn't until her daughter pointed out the melted edges that she realized all those years she'd been accidentally serving up plastic with every meal. You can instead replace plastic utensils with wooden, stainless steel, or silicone options. If you have to use plastic, try to keep it away from high heat. And don't forget to check your utensils regularly. If they're scratched, melted, or worn out, it's time to toss them. Single-use coffee pods. For many seniors, a cup of coffee is an essential start to the day. Maybe you have a pod-based coffee machine, quick, convenient, and easy to use. But what if I told you those little plastic pods are contributing to microplastic pollution in your coffee? Many single-use coffee pods are made with a mix of plastic and aluminum. And when hot water runs through them, microplastics can leach directly into your coffee. Let's take Tom, a 75-year-old retired teacher who loves his morning brew. He swore by his single-serve coffee machine, saying it was so much easier than making a full pot. But when he read about how plastic from the pods could end up in his coffee, he was horrified. His solution, switching to a refillable stainless steel coffee pod. Not only did his coffee taste fresher, but he also saved money and reduced waste. Instead, switched to a traditional drip coffee maker or a French press. If you love pod machines, opt for refillable stainless steel pods. You can also look for brands that offer compostable or biodegradable coffee pods. Plastic spice grinders. Have you ever used those disposable spice grinders from the grocery store? They're convenient, but most of them are made entirely from plastic, including the grinding mechanism. Over time, as you grind spices, tiny bits of plastic mix in with your seasonings and end up in your food. Meet Susan, a 70-year-old home cook who loves seasoning her meals with freshly ground pepper. She had been using the same plastic pepper grinder for years, never realizing that every twist was shaving off microplastic particles into her food. It wasn't until she upgraded to a glass and stainless steel grinder that she noticed a difference in taste. I had no idea my old grinder was literally falling apart into my food, she said. Avoid disposable plastic spice grinders. Instead, go for refillable glass or stainless steel ones. And don't forget to check your spice containers. If they're plastic, transfer your spices into glass jars for a safer, fresher option. Microwaving in plastic containers. Picture this. You take last night's leftovers, put them into a plastic container and reheat them in the microwave. It's something many people have been doing for decades. But here's the shocking part. When plastic is heated, it can release microplastics and harmful chemicals into your food. The worst part? Not all plastic containers are microwave safe and even the ones that claim to be can still break down over time. Take Frank a 77-year-old retired engineer who always prepped his meals in plastic containers. He'd microwave his lunch every day, not realizing that with each reheating, 
he was ingesting microplastics. After reading about the risks, he switched to glass containers and was surprised by how much better his food tasted. Never microwave food in plastic containers, even if they're labeled microwave safe. Instead, use glass, ceramic, or stainless steel for food storage. And if you have to use plastic, always transfer your food to a glass plate before reheating. Dish sponges. If there's one thing that every kitchen has, it's a dish sponge. Whether you're washing a few plates after breakfast or tackling a big pot of soup, that sponge is your go-to tool. But what if I told you that every time you scrub, you're spreading microplastics into your kitchen? Most dish sponges today are made from synthetic materials like polyurethane, polyester, or nylon, all forms of plastic. As they break down over time, they shed microplastics into the water, onto your dishes, and even into the air. Meet Mary, a 74-year-old widow who takes pride in keeping her kitchen spotless. She'd been using the same type of bright yellow-green sponges for years, replacing them when they got grimy. But when her environmentally conscious granddaughter pointed out that sponges shed plastic fibers down the drain, she was stunned. I never even thought about it, she admitted. The scary part, those microplastics don't just disappear. They end up in waterways, in fish, and eventually back on our plates. Instead, switch to natural alternatives like cellulose sponges, loofers, or wooden dish brushes. If you prefer synthetic sponges, replace them frequently to minimize shedding, or consider a silicone dish scrubber. It lasts longer and doesn't shed at all. Cling wrap. Plastic cling wrap is one of those kitchen essentials that most of us grew up with. It's quick, convenient, and perfect for wrapping leftovers or covering a bowl of salad. But here's the shocking part. Cling wrap is a major source of microplastics. Most plastic wraps are made from PVC, polyvinyl chloride, or polyethylene, which can leach microplastics into your food, especially when exposed to heat or acidic foods. Let's talk about Jim, a 79-year-old retired chef. He'd always been meticulous about keeping his food fresh, so he'd wrap everything, from cheese to sandwiches, in plastic wrap. But after reading about how cling wrap can break down and transfer microplastics, he made the switch to beeswax wraps and glass containers. The result? His food stayed fresher, tasted better, and he felt good knowing he wasn't adding plastic to his meals. You can instead use beeswax wraps, which are reusable and safe. Store leftovers in glass or stainless steel containers. And if you must use plastic wrap, never let it touch hot food or use it in the microwave. All right, so now you know, microplastics aren't just a problem out there in the environment. They're right here in our kitchens, sneaking into our food, drinks, and even the tools we use every day. And look, if this was shocking to you, you're not alone. Most of us grew up using plastic wrap, non-stick pans, and plastic utensils. But we never questioned it, because no one ever told us it could be a problem. But now, we know better. And the best part? We can do something about it. This isn't about being perfect. It's not about throwing everything away overnight. It's about taking small, simple steps like swapping plastic sponges for natural ones, switching to glass food storage, and choosing a better coffee option. Tiny changes that over time make a massive difference. And here's the thing, you deserve a kitchen that nourishes you, not one that's secretly adding plastic to your meals. For your health, future, and your family's future, it's worth making the switch. So now I want to hear from you. Which of these hidden sources surprised you the most? Are there any swaps you've already made? Let's chat in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more eye-opening content, and share this with someone who needs to know this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep creating a healthier home.